It's actually nicknamed the suicide disease because it is the most inhumane pain to mankind. Millie Nellis and her brain have been through a lot. First, a rare disorder that caused excruciating pain. Soon after that, doctors found a brain aneurysm that would require another surgery, an operation she didn't think she could survive. Well, because of the trauma my brain had already gone through with everything else that had happened previous, I didn't think I was going to um, be able to survive another surgery. Right. I really didn't think my brain would take any more abuse. And so I thought, well, you know what? I can take part in this and it will help other people. This was a clinical trial. The first successful trial in the world of a drug that protects the brain from damage caused by stroke. What we've um, shown here is a proof of concept that neuroprotection is possible. Brain. Strokes often occur when there's an artery blockage in the brain that cuts off blood flow. The drug NA1 was developed at Toronto Western Hospital. The University of Calgary's Dr. Michael Hill says there have been a thousand attempts to develop such a drug in the past, all ending in failure. We're very excited about this because it, it shows that it can be done, right? So it's possible. And now we've got to take it to the next, the, the wider population and say, can this be done in real life? And does it make a difference? Hill hopes the next step is a study where patients are given NA1 soon after a stroke occurs. Millie Nellis says she's convinced the drug works, calling it a lifesaver. And I never felt better in my life. I was. I, I just felt great. I felt younger, I felt healthy, and I really honestly think I'm living proof that this drug is successful. And if I ever met Dr. Timoniski, I have the biggest hug for him for discovering this drug. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.